So as you may know, Microsoft Office is not available on Linux. And that is a big one that gets a lot of people wanting to switch to Linux. So in this video, I'm going to be discussing some alternatives to Microsoft Office that will allow you to get your work done on Linux, as well as the advantages and drawbacks of each. All right, so first I'm going to start with the most popular Office suite on Linux, LibreOffice. If you use Linux, you probably know what it is because it's default in many Linux distributions, including Ubuntu and Linux Mint, and for good reason. It's completely free, both as in free of charge and freedom. It offers a word processor, spreadsheet editor, presentation module, but also a flowchart slash diagram application, which doubles as a PDF editor. In fact, I actually use this as my PDF editor. It also offers a formula slash equation application, as well as a database application comparable to Microsoft Access. It offers DEB and RPM packages, and it's available in the package managers of major distributions. It also offers a flat pack, snap, and app image. So you got a lot of options for getting this installed on your Linux distribution. And the beauty of LibreOffice is that, on Linux anyway, you can choose to install each component individually. So you could get, for example, Writer, Calc, Impress, and Draw, but not Math or Base, like me, because I don't need Math or Base. It defaults to the ODF format, but it can save and load files in the Microsoft Office formats, both the newer open ones, as well as the older proprietary ones. And LibreOffice is very customizable. Not only does it pick up your Linux desktop theme, assuming of course you, that you get it as a native Linux package and not a snap, flat pack, or app image, but there are many ways that you can make it look and feel more like Microsoft Office, for example. Like you can change to a tabbed interface if you don't like the toolbar style. You can even change the icon theme, and that's pretty much just scratching the surface of what you can do with this. It's like, I could actually make a whole video about that. If you think I should, please let me know down in the comments. And compatibility with Microsoft Office isn't 100% perfect, but it's good enough for most people. I personally have never felt limited by it, and I do quite a bit on here. Like, I've used it to do my schoolwork back when I was in school. I use it to create my budgeting spreadsheets, and I've also created various types of documents for other people, and it's worked well for me. Now, the only major downside with LibreOffice is that it doesn't support real-time collaboration, but it's not missing many features other than that. After all, there's a reason why this is default in a lot of Linux distributions. Now, I feel I can't really mention LibreOffice without also mentioning OpenOffice, because this is what LibreOffice is based on. If you really want, like, a mature product that's been in development for over 20 years, then this is a good one for that field. And like LibreOffice, it's also free, both as in free of charge and freedom. And it offers the same set of apps as LibreOffice, word processor, spreadsheet editor, presentation module, flowchart, diagram slash PDF application, database application, and a formula slash equation application. It offers DEB and RPM packages for Linux, no flat pack, snap, or app image, and I couldn't find it in my distribution's package manager. OpenOffice saves in ODF by default, much like LibreOffice, and it can open the newer Microsoft Office formats, but it can only save in the older ones. So the modern Microsoft Office formats are not very well supported. Well, they are, but only half. I'll put it that way. 
And of course, the first thing you'll notice is that the UI is pretty outdated. And honestly, this is the impression I get, it just feels like a dead project. Like, LibreOffice is pretty much taken over the place that this once had. Like, LibreOffice is a lot more up-to-date, it's better supported, and it's also snappier, too, and it's more customizable. LibreOffice, I feel, is just a better product all around. And so I wouldn't really recommend anyone use OpenOffice these days, but I just thought, well, if I mention LibreOffice, someone in the comments is going to mention open office so i just thought it was worth mentioning and now we have only office this is another one that's also free by both definitions it offers a word processor or spreadsheet editor presentation module as well as a fillable pdf form creator but no database or flowchart applications like this mostly just fills the three main roles of an office suite. It offers deb and rpm packages, as well as a snap, flat pack, and app image. Now, only office defaults to the Microsoft Office formats, but it also supports the ODF formats, just like LibreOffice. And the first thing you'll notice is that the layout and interface is pretty reminiscent of Microsoft Office. Now, one feature that only Office has that I find actually pretty unique for an Office suite on Linux is that it does support real-time collaboration through its own cloud service, as well as Nextcloud, Cfile, Liferay, KDrive, Moodle, and OwnCloud. Now, you'll notice that if you look at this list of formats, although only Office can load the older Microsoft Office formats, it can only save in the newer ones. And you'll notice that it doesn't integrate as well with your Linux desktop as LibreOffice. Now, it's not as customizable as LibreOffice, but it does offer a dark mode and an interface scaling feature that goes up by 25% increments. I haven't really gotten a chance to play around with this. And now we come to a non-free, as in non-open source office suite, ironically called free office. It only fills the three main roles of an office suite. Word processor, spreadsheet, editor, and presentation module. No database or flowchart applications or PDF editors or anything like that. It offers deb and RPM packages for Linux. And it is free of charge, but there's no flat pack, snap, or app image, and I couldn't find it in my distributions package manager. It can save and load files in either its own format or the Microsoft Office formats. Both old and new are supported, and it also does support the ODF format. In terms of customizability, it offers a choice of five user interface designs. That's three for, for the ribbon interface, and two for the classic menus and toolbars, if you prefer that. Now the free version lacks a few features, most notably EPUB export for eBooks and a macro editor. So actually the name FreeOffice is kind of misleading because not only is it not free as in freedom, it's also not completely 100% free as in free of charge either. And another thing is that FreeOffice does not support real-time collaboration. And now I'm going to talk about another non-open source Office suite, WPS Office. It offers a word processor, spreadsheet, editor, and a presentation module, as well as a PDF viewer, but no database or flowchart applications. It offers deb and RPM packages, as well as a flat pack and snap. It defaults to the Microsoft Office formats. It supports both the newer ones and the older ones, as well as its own format. Now, honestly, in my opinion, this is not really a great proposition. Like, it's not bad, but there is quite a few cons with this. Like, it's not very customizable at all. It doesn't even have a dark mode. If it does, I couldn't find it. And you'll notice that it doesn't follow your system's theme at all. Like, it's made to resemble Microsoft Office as much as possible. And it's probably worth mentioning that 
WPS is made by a Chinese company, which may raise some privacy concerns, especially being closed source. And you'll notice that some parts have translations missing, most notably in the skin center. And you may notice some other parts, in particular pop-up menus that use the very recognizable Chinese way of translating English. Like if you've ever ordered anything from a Chinese company and read the manual, you'll know what I'm talking about. And again, this is not free, not as in freedom, but it is free of charge. And WPS does offer a web version that does support real-time collaboration, but that feature is not in the applications themselves. So now, if you absolutely need to use Microsoft Office specifically, for whatever reason, then you can try the Microsoft Office Online at office.com. Of course, a big thing is that you'll be able to collaborate on documents in real time with Microsoft Office users. There's that I think is probably the big one that's keeping people on Microsoft Office. And a big advantage with this is that you can be sure that compatibility with Microsoft Office will be 100% perfect and seamless, and the Microsoft Office Online saves your files on OneDrive, but it can't save files on your local machine due to being web-based, so that's one major disadvantage of it, so like, you don't get any real-time syncing between the cloud and your local system like you would have on Windows. Now, Ubuntu 24.04, the latest LTS release of Ubuntu, did introduce the ability to connect to OneDrive and sync your files between that through the Files app, but that's the only distribution that I see doing that, and it's only recently that you were able to do that on Linux at all. Now, another thing I will warn about is that the Microsoft Office Online is not as fully featured as the Windows slash Mac applications, but it works for most people. But like if you're a super advanced user and like you work with like macros, for example, then this might not be a great proposition. And another thing is that it doesn't even include all the Microsoft Office apps, most notably Access and Publisher are missing, but the main ones, Word, Excel, and PowerPoint, are there. And speaking of web-based Office suites, I think it's also worth mentioning that the Google Docs suite is also an option. You get a word processor, spreadsheet editor, presentation module, as well as a web form builder. Now, there is no database app, but there is Google Drawings, which can do flowcharts and diagrams. I've used it. I don't really think Google Drawings makes a really good PDF editor the way LibreOffice Draw does, but you can try it. And it is compatible with the Microsoft Office formats, though it'll only let you download in the newer ones. And this does support real-time collaboration, being a cloud-based Office suite. Now, it's not as fully featured as Microsoft Office or any of the other alternatives mentioned here, so you may feel limited with this depending on what you do with your Office suite. So it's probably not the best proposition. And this saves files to your Google Drive. But again, just like Microsoft Office Online, can't save files directly to your local machine due to being web-based. And that's it for this video. Be sure to give it a like if you liked it, dislike if you disliked it, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff, and see you next time.